these two are nuzzled up against each other in terms of the World Rugby World Rankings. Italy sixth, Scotland seventh. Their 25th meeting. Let's get this party started. Scotland get the game underway. First job, easy take from Duca. Stefan already wanting to ask questions. But this is Scotland possession and Malcolm ships it on. They could have some width here if they could choose to use it. And it's with Gallagher. And then it's on for McGee, who steps around Rigoni. And Fran McGee still going into Giordano, but crucially into that Italian 22 again. And Molly Wright with the carry. Stefan, oh, the lovely little ball back inside for Duca. Look to try and get it away as well and manage the offload for Scorbini. That's much better from Italy. And Stefan pops it up for Vecchini now once more, turning up on the right side. She certainly is. She's one of the most humble humans ever as well, and she's just a brilliant personality to have around. Giordano down off the top for Stefan. Medea for Rigoni, then the lovely support line from Elisa Dinka. Elisa Dinka to try and go into the corner, steps back in, what a score! <laughs> Sensational. You can see it come from the line out, a lovely take and just brilliant space, awareness, looking where the traffic, traffic is and she's like a runaway train, that one step back inside, clear run to the try line and again, we knew that she was going to be a threat, we said it prior to the game that she is going to be, you know, somebody that you're going to have to shut down, give absolutely no space and you can see it there, that lovely step back inside, the pace that she's come onto the ball and actually the read of where the space is, absolutely brilliant and... In the line out, and then there is it in the middle. Scotland look to engage. Lana Skeldon is riding low at the back of this one, almost surfing at the back of the boat as this one speeds over the line. Lana Skeldon with the reply for Scotland, a full pack effort to get them over the line. So this game has been played. Duca. Another good run from Giordano Zucca. You got anything, Amber? Has it been knocked on? Scotland have got on. possession. Gallagher feeds it away. Thompson. Nobody at the back for Italy. Just puts 50. the ball on the foot. Rona Lloyd is pairing after this. Muzzo under pressure. Clear out was good, but the ball's there for Amber Orr to pick and go. And all will score. So again, brilliant read there from Lisa Thompson. The 50-22 option was on, but it's found grass. Well yeah. pressured by yeah. Rona Lloyd to actually They're slow down the ball. Or... Brilliantly picked up from Emma Orr. She sees yeah. the balls okay. out, she can what come around the, the corner, she can we pick it up, ball, straight line to the try line. Unreal reading, unreal play, and just that brilliant to see Scott and come away with points because they penetrated that 22 on quite a few occasions and not come away with points. But again, that execution okay, was sublime there. Rachel McLaughlin. Got the advantage now. Leia Bartlett. McDonald had to go digging for that one. Now Nelson. Or oh, on for Rowley. Rowley stepping back in behind. Rigoni. Chloe Rowley for Scotland. Now there's a penalty advantage for Italy and they have a little bit more shape now. Duca into the double tackle of Scotland, which is effective and needed to be. New advantage, not rolling. There's another advantage against Scotland. Ball over the top, Granzotto gives chase. Lloyd in the backfield. Nothing will come of that. They didn't opt for it, and ultimately that allowed Scotland to then overtake them on the scoreboard because they came away with not a bonus point. Rigoni didn't want to hang around. They need all of the seconds on that clock. Oh, and they've lost it, and Rachel Malcolm snaffled it up, and it's back with the Scots. There's nobody at home down this side for Italy as they put the pressure on Emma Orr in possession. Into the final minute. Didn't look great in real time, so it'll be interesting to see it in the slow-motion slow dangles. has lifted her above the horizontal. For me, at a minimum, this is going to meet the yellow card threshold. Rachel in 15. OK, so it's a dangerous clean-out. She's landed on her shoulder area, so it's a minimum of yellow card, and it's going to go to the bunker. Under the noses of this Scotland side. Right out. Oh, it's just been knocked on. 
the clock is in the red and that will be a memorable win for Scotland. They've not won in Italy this century. Not for 25 years, not since 1999.